Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, what is pyromania? Now, pyromania has been featured in a number of television shows and in many movies, but actually it's a very rare condition. The vast majority of individuals who set fires, even those who set fires repeatedly, cannot be diagnosed with pyromania. There are six criteria that have to be met in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual for a diagnosis of pyromania. Let's take a look at those first. So the first criterion is that somebody deliberately sets more than one fire. The second is that there's a tension or affective arousal before setting fire. The third involves somebody's level of interest with fire and things that are related to fire. So oftentimes we see with pyromania, individuals are fascinated with fire, they're curious about it, they're attracted to it, so that if there's a fire in the neighborhood or nearby, they'll go and watch it. They do tend to seek out firefighters and hang around fire departments. They have a real interest in that. Sometimes we see this symptom criterion related to this idea that some people become firefighters because they have pyromania. The DSM indicates this, but there's really not a lot known about pyromania to start with. And there's really no concrete evidence that individuals with pyromania are overrepresented in the population of firefighters. Certainly, some individuals with pyromania have become firefighters and continued setting fires as a firefighter, but that's extremely rare. The fourth criteria is that an individual gets gratification, relief, or pleasure when they set the fire or immediately after. The fifth criteria involves what's excluded from the pyromania definition. So the setting of fires cannot be for money because of some political ideology to conceal a crime, for revenge or because someone's angry. It can't be done to improve one's living circumstances. It can't be done as part of psychosis, so when delusions or hallucinations are present. And an individual would not have pyromania if they set fires when their judgment is impaired. For example, if they are intoxicated. The last symptom criterion indicates that a diagnosis of pyromania is not given if it's better explained, if the behavior is better explained, by conduct disorder, antisocial personality disorder, or a manic episode. So as you can see from looking at the criteria for pyromania, there are a lot of reasons why someone who sets fires would be excluded from this diagnosis. And it would make sense that this diagnosis is extremely rare. Oftentimes, one of those reasons, the vast majority of times, one of those reasons would be present. Somebody would set fires because of money or to conceal a crime or some other reason that's excluded as part of the definition of pyromania. Now, individuals who are diagnosed with pyromania oftentimes do prepare for quite a while before setting a fire, and oftentimes they are indifferent to the consequences of setting fire. They're indifferent to a loss of life and to the destruction of property. Pyromania is comorbid with a number of mental health conditions, including substance use disorder, depression, bipolar disorder, gambling disorder, and other disruptive impulse control and conduct disorders. As I mentioned, pyromania is extremely rare. The prevalence in the population in the United States is not known. There is some information that points to how prevalent it may be, however. There are studies that indicate that even among individuals in the criminal justice system who set fires, who were there because they set fires, only about 3% meet the full criteria for pyromania. So this would be a particularly high risk population for this disorder because they actively set fires and even still they don't qualify for the diagnosis the vast majority of the time. Now we do know that males are diagnosed with pyromania at a much higher rate than females. Again there's not a lot of information available about pyromania or a lot of studies but some studies indicate that more than 90% of individuals who have this disorder are male. 
I hope you found this description of Pyromania to be interesting. Thanks for watching.